Hi everyone, my name is Rachel and welcome to The French Seams. Thanks very much for joining me again for another video. This is something different today, this is a little tutorial. So around Christmas time I was looking for an iPad holder for my mum for Christmas and I found the most fabulous pattern over at All Sewn Up Wales, so I'll link um, all the details in the box below. But it's basically a little iPad holder, it's a little stand um, where the iPad rests on it or maybe um, whatever tablet you have or a phone and it's a really really fabulous pattern. It doesn't take long to make, it takes very very little fabric and the result is really really cute. So I made a few of these around Christmas time and um, a few of you mentioned that you might like to see how I do it so I'm very very happy to bring this little tutorial to you today. I am by no means a professional at these tutorials and I apologise for the terrible lighting it's quite late at night but I hope you get the idea and I hope you enjoy it and if you do have any comments please feel free to leave them in the comment box below. So without further ado I will pass you over to tutorial Rachel right now and I will see you at the end of the video. Bye! Hi everyone, so I'm at my sewing machine now. I've got it threaded with coordinating thread. I've got my little iron set up behind you. I've got my clips. I've got my pins. I've got my trusty snips. Um, I've got all my pattern pieces printed out. So uh, just be aware that you need to print these out at 200%. And again, I'll link the pattern below. So you need four of these. They're the main panels. They're for the top of the little pyramid. And I've got them cut out in this beautiful um, pink and blue and green and yellow fabric. Then you need one of um, one for your base. And I've got this beautiful pink fabric and I've interfaced this just to give it a bit more structure. And then you also need uh, the shelf section and I've made this in the pink as well. So I think those fabrics match really well together. I think they look very, very nice. And all this fabric um, I got from Aldi, so a pack of fat quarters. So for this, I used maybe about one and a half fat quarters and I think the colours are just beautiful. So let's get started. The first thing you do is lay out your four triangles. So I'll pop in a little video here. Lay them out as you would as you're looking down on the iPad holder. So whatever little formation you like. And then you fold the left hand side over to the bottom and the top over to the right. And then what you're going to do is pin the right hand side of each of your triangles. So you can see here, I've done that for two sets here. Also what I've done is I've put a little pin, one centimeter, before the bottom. So your seam allowance is one centimeter. So what you need to do is sew all the way along the right hand edge at one centimeter, but stop with one centimeter to go. And then you press them all open. So that's what I'm going to do now. I've now sewn those two pieces together and given them a good press. You can see here where I stopped just one centimeter short um, and that'll give a really, really nice finish when you come to attaching it to the base. So what you now need to do is attach your two pieces right sides together and then make sure that the sides um, are lined up where you don't have that little gap. It's just on one side. And then on the other side, um, you measure one centimetre from the top, one centimetre from the bottom, again to give a nice finish when you attach the base. And be sure to line up the seam at the very, very top because that will form the top of the pyramid. And then just clip it all together and then sew all the way along from one centimetre in, all the way along one centimetre seam allowance and stop at this marker as well. After you've sewn those two pieces together, here's your little triangle and I've just given it a good press again. If you turn it right sides out, you've got a nice um, point here at the very top. And then we're just going to leave this aside for one minute because we're going to concentrate on the shelf section. So this is the shelf section pattern piece. So what you want to do is um, fold it in half, long sides, right sides together. You're going to sew along all the short side all the way along the long side to about here, maybe leave about a two, cent two or three centimetre gap and continue sewing all the way along here and all the way down the short side. Then uh, clip the corners and then turn it uh, right sides out and give it a good press. So and here's what your little shelf section would look like. Um, so I've clipped the corners and I've used a little tiny crochet hook to poke out the corners, just to, uh, don't go all the way through. I've given it a good press. You can see here that this is the little opening here that we're going to use to stuff it later. What I've done now is mark my centre point and that'll help in lining it up in the next step. The next step is basically assembling the whole thing. So go ahead and get your little pyramid section again. Choose which side you'd like your shelf to be on. So for mine, it doesn't matter because all the same. Um, I've chosen this side and I've put a little pin here as a centre marking. So line up your two centre markings and pin those together. 
leaving the little opening facing inwards because we'll need that later. So with the right sides of the little pyramid, there's your shelf section. So pin that all the way along and then sandwiching that in the middle, go ahead and get your base section. Again, I've marked a center point here. I'm going to do it on all four edges and line that up as well so they match. So basically you've got your, your square base here, then you've got your shelf section and then you've got your pyramid. But you've actually got four sides to that pyramid section. So you're going to line up each of those sides to your base, right sides together. And you'll see now that that's why we left the little gap here earlier, because if you line up the two edges there, against your base section you'll see that they kind of splay out and that's going to be your pivot point that's where you're going to get a nice right angle at each corner so go ahead and pin all the way around matching center points if you like and matching the little corners to the corner of the base on one side of it um, maybe the side opposite your shelf leave a little five centimeter gap because that's where we're going to turn it out later so go ahead and pin all the way around and i'll meet you back here so this is what it looks like now all pinned so you can see here all my pins all the way along the edge i've put clips here and here so i know this is my starting point all the way around and this is my stopping point to leave a little gap um i've got my little shelf sandwiched in here so be very careful when you're sewing along these edges not to catch the shelf in your seam so now what we're going to do is just sew all the way around and then turn it right sides out so I've now sewn this all the way around and I've snipped into each corner. So now we're going to turn it out. So be sure again to give the corners a nice uh, poke through, maybe with a little scissors or a point turner. Again, don't poke all the way through. But when you turn it completely the right side out, you should be left. Here's your little shelf section and there's your base. And here's the little top part. So there we go, looks like a little baseball cap. So now what you can do is give it a little press. Here's a little um, part where you're going to stuff the main body. And you can see here, here's a little gap where you're going to stuff the shelf section. So give it a little press, um, make it all neat and tidy, and then we're going to stuff it. So this is what it looks like after a good press. And now basically what we're going to do is stuff it. So this is the stuffing that I like to use. I'll link it below. I've used this for uh, for toys. I've used it for these iPad holders. I've used it for Halloween costumes. It's really, really great. So basically what you're going to do is get a little bit of it. And then for the shelf section and also for the main body, just keep stuffing it. Maybe use a little scissors to press them into the corners and keep going until it's how you like it really. So do that for all of the shelf section and then you'll need quite a bit for the, the main body, obviously. And then once you've done that, all you're going to do is just hand stitch these closed and then you're pretty much done. And here's the finished result. Isn't it great? So I've stuffed the little uh, shelf section and hand stitched it across here. I've stuffed the main body and hand stitched the back again. I've added a little, um, a little handmade label here, which I think is very, very cute. And I'm just really happy with the result. So as I said, this project is super quick to do. It takes very little fabric. It would be a great stash buster. You'd get to use up all sorts of lovely fabric. And um, the only thing extra you really need, which you mightn't have, is that uh, bag of stuffing. But again, I'll link where I got mine below. Um, they're readily available. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. So it's a fabulous little make. Again, it's from All Sun Up Wales. It's a free pattern. I'll link everything below. Um, but thank you very, very much for joining me and I do hope you enjoy it. And if you do make it, you can rest your tablet or your phone against it while you enjoy a cup of tea and watch all your favourite sewing vloggers. So I'll leave it there for now. Thank you very, very much. I do hope you enjoyed that. Something definitely something different for me. If you would like me to do any tutorials in the future, please let me know. I'm always open to ideas. But thank you very, very much for joining me. I hope you're all well. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. I would love to have you um, along as one of the French Seam subscribers. Um, but I will hopefully see you again very, very soon for another video. Take care, everyone. Bye.